What's up, y'all? Welcome back to I Am MJ TV. I'm back with another one. Y'all see the sofa, so you already know what time it is. I got me some seafood here. We're gonna do a quick little seafood move in tonight. Nothing too fancy, you know. Just um, let's see what I got on the menu tonight. Some mussels, uh, crab legs, a lobster tail, corn, shrimp, potatoes. That sounds like a lot already, but we do got a lot to talk about. Uh, so let's get into this video. So yeah, y'all. You know, everybody been, you know, seeing these stories going on. Jesse Smullett, we gonna talk about it. And then this R. Kelly situation. We definitely gonna get into it tonight. But like I was saying, I got muscles, corn. Y'all, we gonna try to eat this tonight. I really like seafood. So I usually don't have no problem finishing a bunch of seafood by myself. But yeah, we gonna get into it. A lot of people been asking me, you know, when the Jersey Mullet story first kind of kind of hit, you know, my family was reaching out like, you know, asking me what I thought, what was my opinion. I ain't had no opinion in the beginning. Well, I had an opinion, but I kept my opinion to myself about that situation right there. Not to say I don't believe anybody or anything like that, you know, when you a victim of different stuff, but, you know, when the timeline rolled out, it just really didn't make sense to me. One, we all, we, you know, we don't heard the timeline on events. 2 a.m. in Chicago. He going to Subway. Now, I'm in Atlanta. And it's cold in Atlanta right now. And I ain't going out at 2 o'clock in the morning for Subway. One. Two, during that time in Chicago, y'all, it's cold as crap. It's cold as crap. Not to say it could happen, but the attackers just so conveniently see you leaving at your, you know, apartment at two o'clock in the morning. Ooh, wait, I got some B-Love sauce. Shout out to B-Love. Mm. Mm. Those shrimp be so good. <clears throat> it's kind of spicy, but it's good. But yeah, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. And they out there waiting for you to beat you up. In Chicago now. Make America Great hats on and noose. Come on now. You know, I know it's hard, you know, for us to... You know, we got to try to come up with all these other theories and stuff like that. <laughs> the main thing, like, <laughs> that he not, you know, lying. But we just got to look at the facts of the case. Where are the white men that were supposed to in Make America Great Again? Hence? Come to find out, it's two Nigerians and one don't work on the set of empire. I wait. <laughs> I wait. Then you get beat up, and you got a nice selfie in the hospital where you got a little scratch on your face. Y'all, if somebody had to really beat that man up, he would have had more than a scratch one. I don't care if it were white, black, or whoever. You would have had more than a script. That's just my opinion. It just, none of it made sense to me. Then, you know, days roll by. They uh, they find these boys. You know, they on their way. Well, they made it to them back to Nigeria. But I think they were born in the U.S., but their parents were born in Nigeria. Either way, they had to hop on a plane and made it to Nigeria. <laughs> Jessica, 
Yeah. Until you know he needed to come back. Come back for what? <laughs> come back for what? Mm. It don't, it just, it just sound like it don't make sense. Then, did y'all see this Good Morning America interview he did? It just looked like a bad storyline on Empire. And then I saw today the Empire has decided to write him out of the last two episodes of the season. Now, I do feel like some of those cast members just need to shut up and mind the business that pays them. I'm talking about I'm feeling uncomfortable and stuff. Because they were going down, they was all, oh, it's right for Jesse. I kept my mouth quiet because, like I said, y'all, I live in Atlanta. And the streets be talking. And the streets been talking about that one for a minute. I done heard so many stories about him, one being here for Pride last year, that's Black Gay Pride, it's every Labor Day weekend in Atlanta, being here for Pride, and they say sis like a bump or two, now we can relate that back to this case, say he know the guys from buying drugs from him. <laughs> I don't know what kind of drugs they said. Molly's and ecstasies. I don't believe that. But they said he was in Atlanta. Sex parties. Drug parties. All kind of. Hold on, y'all. Ooh, that South Be Love. Am I saying her name right, y'all? Be Love. I think that's how you say it. Mmm. But yes, all kind of, and, and I'm not saying because you like to get you a bump or two every now and then, or you like a little sex party every now and then that you a liar. I ain't saying that. But in this situation right here, y'all, it just ain't added up. I don't get it. And I see a lot of people keep saying that that Lee Daniels got something to do with it. <laughs> Girl, I wouldn't be surprised. Lee Daniels probably put him up. This is what I need you to do. You need to fake this. We're going to write this scene. We're going to hire these Nigerian boys. And they're going to rough you up a little bit. We just gonna scratch your pretty little face like right here. Nothing too bad now. It just didn't make sense. It didn't make sense. And watching that briefing yesterday from the, the you know, Chicago police, maybe they ain't mad at him. <laughs> they mad at him. The man was like, he wished that all the crime that go on in Chicago could get this much publicity and all of that. Maybe he should have picked a different city. He might have should have came to like super low Mississippi. Like somewhere deep in the south. That, you know, we know some of those things could definitely happen. Because we're not discrediting the fact that, you know, that, that story could literally, that could be legit. But in Chicago, At two o'clock in the morning, I would rather you just be mugged and beat up. Just say that. But to make America great again, that just didn't make sense, y'all. And like I told you, I said, you know, I know we want to try to find a reason, you know, maybe. Oh, he's not lying. I don't think he. Y'all, it just seemed like a lie right now. It's just seeming like a lie. And do y'all tell me? Do y'all think he wrote wrote the letter to Fox? <laughs> y'all think he wrote that letter? Ask him. You know, 
Oh, we make America great again. That punk, whatever they called him. He did not sit there right there, love. And then they said that it was because of his pay. His pay? Baby, it had to be a different way. I could have swore that was, you know, you get, you got an agent, a book lawyer, <laughs> managers, and then you, you, you tell them those kind of problems and they fight for you, right? Mm -mm. Yeah. I love some corn. Look at that season on it. Mm -hmm. And then you dip it in this sauce. Mm. Tonight's drink of choice is a nice sangria. Mm. That's the only and thing about corn. It gives me your teeth. Having sex with a fourteen-year-old girl in a video yeah. in which the girl was urinated on. But yes, I'm gonna need y'all to help me make it make sense. Because it's not making sense right now. Then that video of them in the, <laughs> in the health store buying the supplies of making America girl to get hat. With the hundred dollars that he had gave him to get some. Um, through. I'm through. I'm <laughs> through. Girl. Now, I don't watch enough crime TV, Law and Order, ID, The First 48, <laughs> to know that if we gonna pay somebody to do a crime, we not writing a check. <laughs> like what kind of <laughs> what kind of beginner scammer? Like, <laughs> girl, he need to get with some of these girls in Atlanta to figure out how to do this. Cause that wasn't the way to do it, right there, y'all. At least give them cash, like, or if you really want to be a real criminal, you get an offshore account. And you seen it over there with an offshore account. Mm. This man don't wrote a whole check, y'all. Like, I just think, like, what? Like, what's in your head to where you... You can cop a scheme like that. Like, what in the mental health is that? Like, <laughs> a whole scheme. Oh, this gonna I'm gonna get my job. They're gonna pay me more. And I'm gonna get three more seasons on the show. And I'm gonna be the highest paid actress. But, oops, actor, I mean. And that was not shade. And what if he is in the truth? I just don't see how though. Like, is it a scheme bigger than Jesse Young? You think Fox could have put him up to it? I don't know. But from the facts that we have right now, Mr. Smollett needs some serious mental evaluations done. Because. That ain't it right there. Three of which are between ages of 13 and 17. All of them are alleged victims. Uh-uh. Really <laughs> Baby girl said he's going to get a raise. And he's going to get the money that he deserves. Then I keep hearing Kamala Harris' name came up, come up as if it was a political stunt maybe or something like that. But... Who wants that kind of attention? At the trial. And so it's hard to out I don't get that. Like, I know a presidential candidate will want that kind of attention right now. Who would want to even put associate their name with something like that? Y'all gets better than mine.
Like I said, when everybody was asking me, ooh, what you think about that story? I don't know. I just felt like something wasn't right. It wasn't adding up. But that is my take. And then this whole gay Tupac thing, like, y'all, let's just be honest. Jesse music is is okay for Empire, but I haven't seen nothing yet that would give him the right to even compare himself to the gay Tupac, give himself that title. Because we the people of the gay community, we not buying your music like that, sir. We not. That's just my opinion. Okay, and the next topic, Mr. Robert Kelly. Robert Child Molesting Kelly. Y'all, this, let me tell you. You can run, but you can't run forever. I've been saying... These people gonna get her. Let me pull my little article up real quick for y'all. I was just reading on the Chicago Times. R. Kelly charged with sexual abuse of four victims, at least three of them minors, and he facing ten felony counts. Ten, y'all. But we've been saying they gonna get R. Kelly or they gonna get him some type of way. The FBI involved, Homeland Security involved, any government agency that they came to throw at R. Kelly, they throwing it at him right now. They say the minors were between 13 and 16 years old. And R. Kelly is now 51. Ooh. Yeah, he just nasty. Let me see what he says. And then CNN just said that R. Kelly is supposed to turn himself in tonight. Now, and he don't even have a bond or anything like that. So he literally has to sit in jail until his next court here in March. They ain't giving you a bun. That means they got something on you that's going to stick like glue. They got something on you. <laughs> it's going to stick like grit. <laughs> Y'all ain't no, ain't no laughing matter, but... R. Kelly been going at it for a long time. We all saw those documentaries. That I mean, that docuseries. If you haven't watched that movie, make sure you go down and watch that movie. <laughs> And yeah, I'm not really wanting to hear that whole speech of tearing a black man down or anything like that. Not in this situation. We have all seen this case go on for years and years and years. And R. Kelly literally has skated by, has literally not faced any type of charges. Anytime they arrested him, like, nothing would stick. And that's partially due to people being intimidated by his staff or you know he paying people off but that ain't working in this day and age we, we've seen several big celebrities go down it's not happening like all those allegations you gonna have to face them you gonna have to face them mm. mm. y'all yeah, yeah. Hold on. You are definitely going to thank him. But when they don't give you no bond, you know, no celebrities know me like Jesse had his $100,000 bond, and you out in a few minutes. Y'all are Kelly facing some real time. we going to see how this case. How this evolved. But that is definitely it. It's his time. You know, you know who I feel sorry for? I feel sorry for his kids. 
or really don't even have a relationship with their dad. I feel bad for them. I don't forgot. I already said it. But yes, when you see they got the FBI, like I said, Homeland Security, and all that involved, it's serious. And then they using some 1912 slavery act against him. What? I mean, well, he some of those girls are well treated like slaves, though. So I could have swore we was all emancipated. But he definitely was. Yeah, I could have been doing some stuff for years. It, it's just time. I don't wish no downfall on anybody. But y'all, you know, it's Black History Month, and it feel like you know. I know everybody feel like we taking L's, but we not taking L's. We're not taking L's. When you do things, you gotta be held accountable for those, doing those things. I feel sorry for JC right now. I don't know what his mind was when he was concocting these schemes. But you know, I just really pray for him right now. Because I can only imagine the mindset of feeling like you've lost it all and risked it all for what? And of course, this R. Kelly situation, they found two more tapes. So it's just, there's a lot of evidence against him. But y'all, I've been on this for a minute. But yeah, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation. You feel like, if you feel like Jesse was, you know, it happened to him and it's more to the story. Let me know. I'm open to everybody's opinions. And this R. Kelly situation, y'all, we already know how this is going to end. But yeah, I'm going to end this video here. Again, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so now. Make sure you hit that bell so you can get all of the notifications when I do upload a video. And also, follow me on Instagram. It's I am MJTV on Instagram. So you can, get, you know, I post content there. Whenever I get ready to post a video, you'll know all the updates about the channel there. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time.